All right, folks. We are back to talk about the Atlanta Falcons defense in preparation for their game with the Bears in week 11 of this NFL season. My name is Quentin Crisco. Follow me on Twitter at Stats. Make sure to go check out my podcast, Shaving Points Pod. And let's go. So I'm looking at first downs to start off. These are all first and 10. We see cover three here, four man rush. This this was just a uh, quick quick RPO. He had the screen up top and a little slant route at the bottom of the screen there. Really, I want you to watch the guy that circled. He trips over his feet here. I think he has like a hook zone right around here. And he came down hard, came downhill hard on this. See, look, he was coming downhill on the run. Says, oh no, it's a pass. Gets away with a little bit of a hold here on the receiver. Probably could have been a touchdown had it not been for that. Um, but had he not tripped, who knows? Play action. We're looking at cover three once again. Just a four-man rush. They, they weren't big on blitzing on first down. So they're taking the shot here on the cover three. So what you're seeing here at the top at the top of PJ Walker's drop back, he sees the receiver pretty much even with the outside coverage there up on the on the top of the screen. And so he says, "Screw it, my guy's faster than him. Take the shot." And then he actually makes a mistake. That that cornerback at the top of the screen, he thinks about this uh, right here. He thinks that that's coming up for him, and he dives back to it. Bit of a mistake there. Le leaves. Wide receiver wide open. P.J. Walker overthrows him, though. That was a home run ball. This next one, we got cover three look again. Just four-man rush. You can see this corner right here already pointing like they're going deep up the left sideline. I see it. And that's exactly where P.J. Walker's eyes are. So by the time P.J. Cox a throw, a little, little route coming across the middle that's open. But he sees that the safety up here, his hips are pointing towards the middle of the field. So he's not in position to recover deep. And he's just saying, my guy is faster than your guy. And your guy's turned around and his hips are pointing towards me. And I like that. So I'm going to take the shot here instead of the, the little route, the route in the middle of the field. Nice first down. Now we start to see a little bit of difference in some of the coverages. So this one is some variation of cover two man. It looks like they're zoned up across the middle of the field. On the sidelines, they look like they're in man with two high safeties. Maybe it's quarters, but I I don't think so. It looks like it looks like cover two to me, the way the safety or the corners are playing a bit more aggressive up on their guy, knowing that they have help on the back end. I just think the middle of the field was in his own coverage. Again, only a four-man rush. Still haven't seen a first down blitz here. PJ's already cocked to throw. This play's barely gone any time yet. So PJ Walker sees cover two and just says, linebackers are a little deep. My guy's gonna stop right here. I'm gonna hit him. Nice reaction to cover two. So we're gonna see him bring a pressure here. I'm not calling it a blitz because that's only four guys coming. Probably thinking they have cover two here again. So they're running a little screen pass. And Lorenzo Carter, just get up for this ball. Be careful of this, Bears, if you run any screen passes because he just, he skied up for that. But instead, Lorenzo Carter houses it. We see cover two man here. Said, so turn around. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a cool little route he's running. How does the safety react to that? Yeah, so that's nice. See, when he drops for the hook, is it right about when this post is coming across and the safety bites on this? He circles back to the corner of the end zone. So maybe try some double moves this week. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the Falcons defense in clear passing downs. This is like third and long, even second and long. So let's go. So they're running a stunt where he's gonna come across the face of the center and he's gonna circle back around him. So they will do some stunts. I didn't notice a ton, but they will run some. And they just got a clear four-man rush. Everyone else is in man coverage. 
They've double covered who I assume is DJ Moore. Single high safety deep, no zone in the middle of the field. And PJ Walker throws it to a dangerous spot right into the double coverage that they had. If he throws this go route, like especially a bit towards the sideline, I think that's that's there. I think that's definitely there. Again, cover one, four man rush, man coverage all around. They double covered right here, single high safety, no zone in the middle of the field. This time, they threw a bit of a curveball at you. They, they ran a Tampa 2. I like this route concept that they have on this. This linebacker in his zone, his eyes are on this, this curl route that's happening while this other receiver's gonna run this slant right behind him. I mean, he notices, but he's a little late on it. You see right there, he's just a little touch late on it. Easy completion, first down. So cover one look again this time, but, th but they're not double teaming anybody on this one. So it's just straight up one-on-one -on -one man across the board. And you just got the four down linemen coming at you. And so he's nothing special. The tight end's just running a slant there, but the linebacker can't keep up with him. Linebacker can't keep up with him on the slant, creates separation at the stem right there. Uses his hands a little. Nice ball right on him. Plenty of room to run after the catch. Once again, we see a cover one look if you're seeing a trend here. And look at, is he a linebacker? That might be a linebacker, might be a nickel corner, but he just gets trounced on that route. Breaks outside off the line of scrimmage, then a hard stem back inside, fools him. Big gain off of it. Okay, let's take a look at the run defense here. Number 95, that's Taquan Graham. Number three is Michael Walker. Number 54 is Rashawn Evans. Taquan Graham is strong at the point of attack. Michael Walker can get kind of washed out at times in the run game, but Rashawn Evans is who they count on to clean up in the run game. He's, he, he's powerful, powerful linebacker. See, watch, he, he slips that right there. Do you see how he slipped that block? Slips the block and lays the boom. So here, I outline the gaps for every player in the in the image. They're playing a pretty heavy box here. A lot of guys, they, they really want to stop the run on this play. And th these are clear running downs that I'm showing. So that, I mean, everyone knows that they're probably running like second and short, first, third and short, really here. I want you to pay attention to, we got Lorenzo Carter right there. One of the defensive backs. So this starts because this DB right here shoots his gap a little too aggressively and gets washed downhill. You see that he just got, he just got washed out of the play. His gap is now unoccupied. And so you got two guys for three gaps here, three of what was three gaps. The defensive back over, he gets two downhill as well, which leaves it all on Lorenzo Carter, who's not really getting off his block yet. He's controlling it, but he's, he just doesn't have the wheels to keep up with the running back there. We're gonna watch the two guys on the inside. This is Grady Jarrett and then Taquan Graham right here. So Grady Jarrett's already falling to the ground right here we see. Don't matter though, because you know he's got, he's gonna, his hand up just right to get in there and trip the guy while his partner in crime is gonna use his strength to use the blocker as a tackling dummy. And they, they hide low him on it, essentially, because Jared, get, Jared gets his hand in to trip him up and Graham uses his power to push the lineman into him. Very nicely done. I, I thought that play was awesome. And that's all I've got for you this time around, folks. Make sure to go check out my podcast. We have YouTube, we're on Spotify, we're on iTunes, Shaving Points Podcast. And follow me at Buckus Stats. That's B U T K U S Stats. One word on Twitter. Thanks for tuning in and bear down.